The West Virginia Library Commission encourages lifelong learning, individual empowerment, civic engagement, and an enriched quality of life by enhancing library and information services for all West Virginians. For nearly 90 years, the Library Commission has assisted, advised, and counseled public libraries in developing a culture that values reading, education, and freedom of access to information for all. By providing access to numerous resources, services, and programs, every West Virginia library is a place to explore, discover, and create. The Library Commission is a state agency. It was established back in 1929 mainly to foster the promotion of libraries in the state and enhance library service. There weren't very many libraries back in 1929 and we started out with a book truck that went around in three different counties and has grown since that time to 97 systems and 171 facilities. Library and Development Services is one of four divisions within the Library Commission. We provide consultation services for library trustees, library directors, and staff. Uh, the consultations are on a wide range of topics, whether it's policy making, programming ideas, or how to deal with patrons that are just not sure how to assist them to help make the best decisions. We also provide continuing education for new trends coming out in libraries uh, and in different products. We provide scholarships too for trustees, library directors, and staff to attend conferences and get different types of continuing education that we can't provide so they can go back to their communities and provide excellent service. Library Network Services supports 156 library sites with Ethernet and other technologies and provides a secure connection to their electronic services. Libraries are interconnected to allow access to library catalog services like email, web pages, and of course, you know, filtered access to the internet. Special Services is the public library for those with disabilities, whether it is a physical disability, a visual disability, or learning disability. This service provides audio and braille books for those who can't hold a regular book. Administrative Services provides the operational functions for the agency, um, such as monitoring the agency budget, purchasing, human resources, um, the communications department, including our television services, and any other operational or administrative functions that allow the agency processes to flow. Library and Development Services provides a lot of different programs for libraries within the state. We offer a book discussion group collection where we send out materials to the public library so they can run their own book discussion groups. We provide support collections so um, schools and public libraries can help refresh their collection and have new material quicker uh, for their patrons to read or listen to. We provide summer reading materials and support, whether that it is the manuals, programming ideas, or other types of education to help make sure summer reading is successful in communities. We also provide resources for teachers. That way materials for projects are available for students and other types of educational materials. One major function that Administrative Services provides that uh, has a direct impact on public libraries is our Grants to Aid program. Through this program, we provide approximately 200 grants a year, totaling more than $10 million to the public library systems. Um, many of the libraries without this funding would not be able to provide services to their communities. Another major program that we have is our E-rate program. It provides more than $800,000 to allow us to provide internet service to 148 public library systems. I think network service's most important role is helping the libraries utilize technology uh, to the advantage of the patrons and the staff. Um, if it has a plug on it, we try our best to help them make it work. Technology is always changing and keeping the old stuff and the new stuff working together is quite the challenge. Technology is the future of special services. With that, we have things coming such as refreshable braille devices that will be distributed to our patrons that are braille readers. We we'll also have speech to text coming in the future that will be in our new machines. The mobile apps are providing services now so that our patrons have the entire BARD uh, catalog at their fingertips. 
think technology's really been good to the libraries. They, they stay current with the rest of the world and they're an important source of information and socialization. Uh, Two-way video and remote classrooms are at the library for everybody to use. The community depends a lot on the library as a center for activities, meetings, and learning. They aren't just dark old rooms with dusty old books anymore. The Library Commission's most important role is to provide support to the public libraries or libraries within the state so they can support their communities. Uh, whether it's through resources, uh, programming, uh, just someone to bounce ideas off, or for us to facilitate connections, it is really our role to ensure that the public libraries are successful in their communities and thrive in their communities. For public libraries in general, on good days I see a very bright future for them. On not so good days, I see them continuing to struggle. And I think that's part of the role of the Library Commission too, is to go ahead and present ways and to promote library service and to make sure there's a wider knowledge of it and that people don't fall into the trap of we can get everything on the internet or libraries aren't relevant anymore. But they're very relevant and we hopefully learn our whole lives and the libraries are a place to do that. West Virginia Public Libraries are a doorway to exploration, discovery, and creativity. And the Library Commission is proud to provide libraries with the essential connections needed in the 21st century. Explore your local library. Discover what it has to offer. And create the future in West Virginia libraries.